uh, hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, as you know that I make simplified medical videos for general public so which helps them to understand the symptoms and then I will explain what are the causes behind those symptoms which is causing that symptom uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition then you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click the link to visit the website now i come to the topic and today's uh, uh, symptom i'm going to explain is the headache it's very common uh, and the medical name for the headache is cephalgia. You're surprised. You never heard that name before. It's true. It's barely used even in hospitals. You know. So cephalgia is the medical name or the medical term used for the headache. Now, when we are talking about the headache, uh, it can be anywhere in the head, you know. Uh, it may be behind the eyes, it may be uh, or maybe behind the ears or maybe on the top of the head, maybe on the side of the head, maybe on the back of the head, you know. Uh, and maybe on the top of our uh, uh, cervical spine, you know. So, so and it's named then uh, uh, according to the location. If it is uh, behind the head here is known as occipital headache and if it's on top of the headache is a coronal headache and then if it's Anyway, you know. Now, the symptoms uh, that uh, mostly they are associated with the headache, they are like maybe nausea or maybe vomiting or maybe uh, sensitivity to light, you know, we call it photophobia and maybe dizziness as well or maybe spinning like feeling. So these are the associated symptoms of the headaches. Now, we can divide them into two categories. One categories are called primary headaches and other one is called secondary headaches. Now the primary headaches are uh, when they are not associated with any other disease. But on the other hand, the secondary headaches are associated or they are caused by any other medical condition. Okay, And uh, that may be minor or may be any serious underlying condition. It may be life-threatening condition, it may be less serious, less common condition. But we will start with the primary headaches. What are the primary headaches? And then I will explain the secondary headaches. Now, when we are talking about the primary headaches, which are not associated with any other medical condition. And the examples of the uh, primary headaches are the tension headaches, uh, migraines, the pains of the half head, and maybe the cluster headaches. So these are the subcategories of the primary headaches. Now when we are talking about uh, uh, attention headaches, uh, these are the most common headaches and about 90% of the headaches are tension headaches. And uh, they are common in a woman if compared to men. The second ones are the migraines, the half head pains. Uh, they are the second most common and uh, they affect equally I mean they affect the children as well as the adults but before the puberty the boys and girls are equally affected by the migraine headaches but after the puberty the women uh, are more affected than men and uh, most of the times it's uh, uh, it, it goes undiagnosed and they are misdiagnosed you know maybe with the tension headaches or maybe with the sinus headaches and all the other uh, medical conditions which cause the headaches you know so mostly they are misdiagnosed and the third type of the primary headaches are the cluster headaches they are less common they are very rare uh, and uh, the women are less likely to suffer from the cluster headaches mostly it affects the men and uh, especially in the age group of like 28 years to 
30 years of age, they are more likely to suffer from these kind of headaches. They're known as cluster headaches. So that was about the primary headaches, which include tension headaches, migraines, and the cluster headaches. Now we come to the secondary headaches, where there is any medical condition, underlying medical condition, which is causing the headache. And it could be life-threatening, it could be less serious, but common. Now when we are talking about the life-threatening conditions, uh, it may be like uh, maybe due to the brain tumor, uh, it may be due to a stroke, it may be due to meningitis or maybe any other medical condition, a life-threatening medical condition, you know. There are so many which can cause headaches, but these are generally I'm talking about maybe brain tumor, brain cancer or any cancers or maybe meningitis, you know, any neurological disorders, maybe any serious reason. That's life-threatening. But less life-threatening or you can say less serious conditions may be uh, the... Uh, it happens, you know, maybe sometimes the withdrawal uh, kind of symptoms, you know, like... Uh, uh, caffeine withdrawal or maybe uh, it may be any other drug drug withdrawal you know or maybe due to any sinus infections you know and maybe any kind of uh, if you're taking medications like painkiller medications for a long time and you try to withdraw those medications or discontinue those medications so it can happen so this is the reason that mostly uh, when you withdraw the medications or discontinue you withdraw those medications slowly gradually you know and pregnancy could be another reason for the headaches so these were the two main types, the primary headaches and the secondary headaches. So primary headaches are where uh, they are not associated with any underlying condition, but the secondary ones, they are associated with any other medical condition. It could be life-threatening, it could be non-serious or less serious, you know. Uh, primary headaches can be further divided into three tension headaches, migraines and cluster headaches. So there was all about uh, the headaches. Uh, and sometimes we don't know the reason for the headaches, you know. Uh, Generally, uh, you can take simple medications if they're, if these are the primary headaches, you can take the painkillers to get relief or maybe rest or, uh, but otherwise if there is any uh, underlying condition, you need that condition to be rest. Uh, and if you have the continuous pain, uh, then you should consult your doctor, especially if it's uh, associated with any other med symptoms, you know. Uh, in that case, you should consult your doctor for evaluation. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.